Greetings and welcome back once again to Civilization Beyond Earth, where in the previous episode we struck down the heinous colony of Fort Barker, who had been doing terrible experiments on their quote unquote children. Now, the jury's still out on whether those children were making up most of the, that issue. Just they had a falling out with their parents and thought, ha ha, we'll get back at you. We'll, we'll pretend that we don't like these awesome super mutant powers. But uh, joke's on them, we've killed their families. Yeah, that's right. That's what you get for crying wolf. Well, they may not have been crying wolf. In which case, oh, you poor, poor darlings. I, let, let us fix you. In fact, we already have fixed them, but... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit sad that we had to kill everyone there. A, a little bit. I'm trying to offload the guilt. But uh, moving on. We have uh, colonists in two turns. We are already halfway to getting the road down here. Now... We are going to want another explorer, I think, to try and uh, see if there's anything in this uh, derelict settlement down here. Oh dear. I've had enough of your lies! I've told the other leaders of this world that working with you is a mistake. Well, see, what? Fine, then are you going to stop trying to trade with me? No, I don't think so. I th oh, crap. Uh, that, that may be... That may be a bit of a concern. I have got a military unit there, though. That's good. Your explorer has noticed uh, something ooh. strange nearby. Where? Some sort oh. Of wreckage, or perhaps alien. What's this? A derelict settlement. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, we're not the only ones who have been killing regular forts. All right then. Have we got a road there? Yes, we do. In this case, let us go down here and start building a road there instead. Well, we're definitely going to want a road here, but the question is, where is going to be the best place for this new settlement that we're going to build? Now, initially I was thinking we could build it here, but the problem with that is that at least one of the tiles of the central um, six that it's going to work will be a canyon, and I don't want too many of these canyon tiles within the city's borders. Ah, oh, crap. Really? Can I move away from them? I... Hmm... Oh, man. All right. Maybe I can swap position with you guys. There we go. That's what I needed to do. Oh, you've got a uh, upgrade. Fantastic. I would like you to kill them. Also, can you swap places? That's good. I'd also like you to kill them. And uh, you guys also fortify. You. Can you attack? Yes, you can. You can kill them in one go. Make it so. I'm really sorry, aliens. I don't want to have to do this to you. You must believe me, I really don't. But you're a bit of a threat at the moment. And I know you can't control your, your anger. I just don't want my people to die. Uh, you know what? I need to get some people back over there. Pretty sharpish, actually. Okay, we've got a trader here. How many active traders we got? We've got two of four. Hmm. Okay, have we got two traders waiting? Yes, we do. Okay. I want one of them for the, the fort that we are about to found. Uh, for now, I guess. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and uh, continue trading with Church of Dawn's Light for me. As for your friend, however, you're going to be waiting for the new colony. Um, hmm. See, I've got a couple of explorers out here. I'm going to need one explorer to come down here, though. So... How about... No, it would be cheaper if I just bought an explorer. Okay, what I want from you... I'm going to tell this explorer to automatically explore. And I'm also going to get you out of the way and then heal you before I tell you to do the same. Right now, well actually, you're close enough to an area where I, I actively want to be... Um, quite... Uh, take control and, and explore manually, because I'm not sure what's going on there and I want to find out. But you're just out in the middle of nowhere. You can just take your time and have a poke around, find out what's going on. You're more or less immune from alien attack. You are near this continent and I want to explore this thoroughly. So I'll keep control of you. But I think it would be wise if we go ahead and purchase a new explorer. We will use this explorer to come down here. 
this derelict settlement, we want to set up a an expedition there because we may find something out of the ruined husk of the town that we have recently destroyed. But back to uh, deciding where we're going to put the settlement. I want to decide this early because I'm building roads. So I, I it'll be a little bit faster if I can build with purpose rather than just build something and then decide I didn't need it anyway. Now we've got quite a few strategic resources here. We've got geothermal well, we've got titanium, resilin, resilin there, oil, we've got basalt, we've also got xenomass. Now ideally, we want all of this, really. If I were to build a city here, right there, let's see, let me turn on the grid for this, actually, I'll make it a lot easier. Right, we can, we can work anything within three tiles of the settlement, I believe. Yes. Anything within three tiles, we can actively work ourselves. So, with that in mind, if we were to settle here, we would have this, but we'd also have these tiles up there that we don't need. What would we get out here? We would just miss that, but we'd get this as a mess. We would just miss the tubers as well. However, uh, well, if we settle there, we would get, is that, no, the algae is there. We'd get another spot of titanium and some fungus, but we would miss the tubers. If we settle here, we would still get that. We would get the tubers. We would get another uh, resilin. And... This comes up there, down here, but we would miss this titanium and that fungus. That is a shame, but we would still get this. The question is, do we want these two or the tubers? What do they give? They just give some extra plantation stuff. I'm thinking... I'm thinking it may be worth actually settling down there or here with a separate city to get these resources, maybe. So, if we were to settle here instead, we would share some of our, our lands. That's fine, honestly. Again, that's not going to be an issue. We could maximize it, I guess, by settling here. And that would give us faster control over this area, but I don't think that's necessary, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, no, that's fine as well. It is a bit of a tricky question. You don't want to expand too aggressively, because the more cities you have, the slower everything you do becomes. We're still landbound, and this is only a step towards getting us to a coastal city. But if I were to start there, then I'd have the tubers. I wouldn't have these resources, but I could plant a city here. I could bring this nest under that city's sphere of influence. I could have these resources, which would be very, very nice. I would miss that one just by a tiny little bit. But I would also have this one. But that one would already be under our control. I think that is going to be the best option. The only other option would be to plant the city out here. But I, I really don't see there being much point over there. This one will still have a lot of desert. But it'll, it'll have a reasonable amount of places that it would be able to gather food from still. I guess the alternative would be to settle a city there. But I still don't know what's over there. I suspect there's an alien nest somewhere around there. Mind you, if we did that, then I could have two alien nests, maybe. It depends where the alien nest is. No, I, th I think... No, I think I've made a decision. We're going to settle a city here and a city there. That those That's going to be the plan for now. Let's go ahead and uh, choose production over here. Uh, I would... Very much like a defense perimeter, please. There we are. Okay, the decision has been made. Took me a little bit of uh, umming and ahhing, but I hope it will be worth it. It's always uh, best not to just throw away expensive units, because a, a, a colonist is a very expensive unit to throw away. Right, we have observed your military aggression towards our station partners. We'd like to ask you to stop. I'll attack any station I deem necessary, or... We meant no offence, and are happy to relent from military operations against your station partners. Well, you've got a lot of military units outside my borders, but I'm fairly certain I'd be able to take you if I in a fight. But... 
I don't want to strain our relationship anymore. And I didn't do it because I want to be aggressive towards stations. It was just a quest. So uh, we'll just say we meant no offense. There we are. Thank you for heeding our request. We don't want neutral stations to become a source of conflict. No, we don't. Though uh, this city may become a source of conflict, it has a lot of things that I want, including a quest. Hmm. We'll have to see. Uh-oh. You fools! Why did you do that? You killed yourselves! You could have run away! Ah. Silly aliens. Ooh, we've got a uh, quest decision. It would seem that cloning is as controversial here as it was on Earth. Really? Okay, then. Our people have gathered outside the new cloning plant, demanding to know how the technology will be used. It is a fair question. Ah, uh, yeah, that is true. Clones' proteins could very well increase the shelf life of our food. But those same stem cells could be used to battle many forms of disease which still affect us. We have to choose one. Whatever their reasons, ethical or spiritual, our people are not prepared to fully accept cloning into their daily lives. Stupid people. Right, 10% of food carried over after city grows from cloning vats, or plus one health from cloning vats. Yes, please, we're about to expand. That would be a huge help. For too long have we allowed the beliefs of some to limit the scientific progress of all. Let us direct our focus towards the health of our people, so that they may no longer be plagued by the weaknesses of our past. Be they physical or mental. I approve of this decision. Right, let's see. What is our next production? The Mass Digester. Uh, I don't think we need that. How are the citizens doing? Um, they, I mean, it's, it's fine, honestly, right now. There's no particular reason to uh, mess around with that, so... I'm going to have you guys work on social development for now instead. Okay, Explorer. Where are you, Explorer? Oh, veterans have gained. Oh, fantastic. That's actually wonderful. I will pretty much never choose to heal unless it is an already very, very highly decorated unit. And it is almost certain that it will die on the next turn if I don't. Now, if I'm given a choice and there's any uncertainty at all... I will tend to plan to the future rather than plan for attack. Um, that is to plan that I would be defeated on the next turn if I don't do this. I, I prefer to think, well, I may be defeated, but maybe I'll survive. And if I do survive, I'm going to have a unit that's that much more powerful for the rest of its life. It's uh, much more useful for, to me that way. Right, you can go ahead and heal on that tile. This rocket... Car, though. You need to get over here because I'm not satisfied with their positioning of their troops over there. You're still going to need to wait for a little while until we've got the colonists down here. Get you on the way. And also, I want to get that sorted out. Ooh. Where are we going to trade with you? Uh, actually, no, I'm going to hold you off as well. You can trade soon. As for you, I want you to heal completely before I do anything with you. Uh, right, where were, we, where were we gonna settle? Was it here? No, it was here, I believe. Because that way we still get the tubers under our control. So yes, we do need a road there as well. As for you, you can leave. You don't need to stay, stick around any longer. Uh, you can sit here and be awesome. May have to clear this miasma before I can settle, I'm not sure. But I suspect when I build a uh, colony there, it'll automatically clear the miasma. We'll have to see. Uh, there we are. That is all well and good. I was also asked to uh, review our quest at the moment. We've got cultural burden. Our scientists have detected a weak radio signal nearby. Its signature is definitely human. We should investigate the sign signal source. There's no telling what we might find. Solid state citizen. We need to found an outpost. That will happen soon. Written in stone. We need to build an expedition at this tomb. Ah! Uh, you're walking on thin ice there, city. Familiar exotics. We need to build a Xeno Sanctuary in St. Hennet. We haven't even researched the ability to build one of those and worm killing. We need to kill a siege worm. We probably have the military to do it, but we would take huge losses. Unnecessary losses, I might add. Okay, let's take the next turn and see how this uh, pans out for us. Ooh. Two more turns for a new uh, virtue. That's pretty nice. And awesome tea is pretty nice as well. Ah. 
Uh, the fruit would be equally good. There's so much good stuff over there. Right here, let's continue to explore. And who do we have here? We have the missile rover. Missile rover? Drat. You re can I really not move in? Aha! I can swap places! I love that ability! That is genuinely a really, really cool ability. Uh, can I move up there? No. Can I move up there? Yes, I can. Well, that's actually cool. It seems that you can't force your units to end their turn with a swap, it seems. Because the units that I had that could move two times were free to move, but then again, this one can't. Hmm. Well, I, I guess I just can't pretend to understand how that's working, then. But at any rate, you're going to move down, and you're going to try to move down to join them. You are absolutely not... Uh, okay, perhaps you are. Be brave, little colonist. Be brave. Give you some support, at least. Uh, you can go ahead and start he um, healing up. Now, is that definitely going to give me everything I want? One last check. Yes. It will, I think. Up there. Yes, it will. Okay. Well, I'm okay with that then. Grid is going to go off for now. If it breaks my immersion. Damn it. Right. Which missile rover are we controlling? Uh, you have nothing to do for now. Just go ahead and wait. Same here. I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to send two units to the same city to try and uh, bolster the speed that it's uh, growing at. Same outpost, I should say. I enjoy games that I can play with just the mouse because it frees my left hand to uh, hold my teacup. This is fantastic. You know, honestly, if I had some sort of crazy, mad, augmented prosthetic, it would be a third arm so I could hold my teacup whilst my left hand was on the keyboard still. Or, I guess, some sort of keyboard brain interface so I didn't need a hand on the keyboard at all, which would give me the same convenience. But it would definitely be something to allow me to hold my teacup whilst doing multiple things. Okay, what have we got? The COVID agents in the field. Currently idle, really? What happened? Brock, did you did you get loads of stuff or something? Did you just get me science? Brock, we wore some. Let me check out what Brock just did. Yes! Ah, oh, Brock! Of course you're awesome. How could I ever doubt you? And now <laughs> we can steal technology. Oh, that's tempting. That is really tempting. Uh think we should. Is there anyone there? Anyone bad? There's no counter spy present. Begin the stealing of the technology. Or recruit defectors even. But no. Uh, no. Go for the technology instead. 18 turns. And you know what? Oh, I'm tempted. This is an easy mission, so I, I guess for you, I don't need to increase your chance of success. I'm just going to leave it on decreasing the chance that you get damaged. I know that, you know, Brock Samson isn't going to be at any great risk, but you could be, I don't know, kidnapped by Sphinx or something. Or maybe Molotov would show up and you'd get distracted. No, no, no. We're going we're gonna to continue to reduce the risks involved in this operation. Okay then, now we went for military industrial complex specifically so we could get public, safe, uh, public security so that for every four military units we would get one extra health. We want that right now, please. Every military unit under your command. Go for it. That gives us two overall health. That is fantastic because we're about to lose four by having a new city. Uh, as for you, it looks like we've already got more or less everything we need. Uh, I'm going to take a turn first. Mm, I'm not liking you guys over there. Let's uh, fortify you. You can... You can retreat all the way up there and heal. You're going to have to wait one more turn. You can deploy and just stand guard for now. You need to wait as well. And you've more or less done everything you need to do. 
But I'm going to move you down here ready. Because there's going to be a lot of stuff I'm going to want you to uh, improve. And you can begin the excavation. Five turns on that. Naturally, you also fortify until healed. You're standing in miasma. Not great. I approve. I, I, I approve. No, 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 no. I don't approve of bad things. Ah, I need more tea. I, I appreciate that that's going to happen. I understand, but soon it'll be okay. But there you are. Yeah, we stole 309 science. Well done, Brock. Everyone healed. Uh, you'll probably get damaged by the miasma, so you, you effectively won't be getting healed. Ooh. Really? I, I disapprove of all this war over there. Actually, no. What am I saying? I approve of all of the war between you guys. As long as I'm not involved, it's okay. As long as you're not hurting the aliens as well, it's also okay. Uh, yeah, let's uh, check this out. And you can wait. Right, let's see. Where are you going to pick your first point? Colonists will unpack and create blah, blah, blah. Let's see if I can reserve my asthma. Yes, it does. Fanta ah, it's free land again. Damn it. Okay, let's uh, see. Quest decision. The augmented have integrated into our culture, sharing their knowledge of organ replacement and artificial limbs. Our society stands at a crossroads. Do we continue their research and application of augmentation, or do we seek to restore their, the augmented to their lost organic humanity? We can continue to research will give us supremacy, or restore the humanity which will give us purity. Um, well, the thing is, whereas I restored the uh, the children, it was because it, it 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 phrased it in such a way that it gave me a very good a very strong impression that they didn't want it, and that they were actively suffering under the burden of the of the changes to their bodies. Whereas the augmented, there's no particular implication here that uh, they don't like being augmented. I'm not going to like decide their fate for them. It's it's their body. They can do what they want with it. And from everything I've read so far, it doesn't imply that it was bad. They went to a bad world. They were struggling. So they chose to try and augment their abilities to survive with the machines, I, I assume. And found that, well, it didn't work out. It was still too hard. So they fled. But I don't, I haven't gotten the impression they, they weren't okay with the augment. So no, we're going to continue the research. Specifically because I don't have an option of, ah, oh, just don't do anything. You know, we don't need to restore them. They, 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 they don't appear to want to be restored. But uh, we'll continue the research, I guess. That has brought us a little bit closer to uh, level 2 supremacy. At level 3, roads and mangrails will not cost anything, which is nice. Level 3, harmony, we will get units take only 5 HP damage from miasma. That should be very nice. Okay, can I get you over there? Yes, I can. We're going to start improving this. We are also going to fortify that position. There we go. And you are immediately going to be trading with Freeland. We want to get them to grow into a city so they can stop being free. Now, here's the test. Can you also trade with... Ah, oh, you can! Fantastic! Oh, wow, you can trade with Firebase 1. Hmm. That's interesting. Was I not able to trade with them before? I don't know. But, uh, I guess for now you're not needed down here, so why don't you go up there and maybe build a generator or something. As for you, I would actually prefer you to stick around. If that's possible. Alright, I am happy with how that went out. There we go, you can go ahead and uh, fortify... Actually, can you set deploy? There we go. You'll heal naturally in our um, in our area of control, anyway, in, within our borders, I should say. Ooh, we now own this. Okay, we should probably get up there and uh, develop that. Is that within three tiles? Yes, it is. So we can work it, so there is every reason to develop it. What are you doing within our territory? What kind of madness is this? I'm not sure I approve. Your your nest is all the way over there. That's I'm not within three tiles. You shouldn't be angry with me. But would you please be able to build a quarry? This will add an extra little bit of production here. You can remain fortified. You can set up for attack. Uh, can we get some of my other units down here to back these guys up just in case they need it? 
As for you, actually, on second thoughts, let's get you up there. We'll go and uh, develop that resource. Hmm. Do I have a military unit, like a ranger or something? No. That is a little bit of a pain. How about I quickly get myself another... Oh, we'll get some armor. How many turns? Four turns. Uh, actually, that is quite a long time. Uh, how many for a marine? Three turns. Uh, okay, go for a marine. We'll get the marine to guard the worker while it's up there, because it's still within three tiles, so I'm a little bit concerned. You can fortify at this location. Right, okay. Now, I don't want to start exploring this continent with you. I would prefer you to make your way down and around. We want to find out what's going on there. As for you, go ahead and fortify for now. How long until you grow? One turn! That's fantastic news. I approve of this. And it seems that the... Uh, Trading we're doing is actually helping. I'm very happy. Only five more turns before we've got uh, photo systems as well. So that's going to be a grand addition to our empire because we'll be able to start plopping solar collectors over all of the cities, which will uh, help it immensely. Stop harming my alien brethren! I, I mean, they're not brethren yet, actually. Ah, oh, damn it. I... Th I th <laughs> Let's face it, we're going down the Harmony route. I didn't initially plan to, but the more I play, the less I want to mess with the aliens. I kind of want to be Fremen-like and, and work with the Sandworm and get, instead of against it. The little makers are precious and should be, should be revered, not attacked. Also, being Fremen is awesome. Let's just put that out there. You know, if you're going to be anything, you may as well be a super soldier. Born on the harshest planet in the world that, you know, you believe you were only put there so that you could become super soldiers. God made a rank is to train the faithful, etc. Alright, our agents siphoned 508 energy. Well done, you. What else can you do there? Oh, really? Okay, we need a little bit more work still. There is no counter agent. So, uh, yeah, continue with the siphoning, please. I will have to check you in about... 13, 14 turns. Make sure that uh, there's no counter agent there. Damn Molotov. Uh, right. Mass digest. Again, that's mostly for tundra. And we don't have any tundra. We've got marshes, but no tundra. So. Hmm. I'm actually going to build another explorer. And then I'm going to set you to uh, producing culture, I think. The Explorer is going to be made automated, so it'll just explore whatever it wants. I want the map revealed as much as possible. And Explorers are going to be the best ones to do it, because they, as long as I'm not at war with someone, they're immune from the only threat, which is the aliens. And at sea, the aliens really are aggressive. Even late game, your ships can't take many of the aliens on without being taken out. If there's two or three of them grouped together, unless you've got literally the very end game ship, then you are going to be in a lot of trouble. Right, you are all... Ooh, I was going to say you're automated, but is there a risk that you'll run over a nest? That would be tragic. Nah, I'm going to take the risk. We'll see how it goes. Right, you're headrong off down here. And you know what? I'll control you myself down there. So, uh, stop the automation. I will just poke my head down there. I'm really strongly suspect there's an alien nest down there. And I don't want you to kill it by just walking over it. Uh, you know what? We don't need a worker right now. Go ahead. Social development for you. As for you, however, let's get up there. Begin work. And let's try and increase your survivability by purchasing this tile. There we are. Hopefully, that alien won't try to cross into our borders. I don't know, though. We'll have to see. All right, who else needs to move? You're fine. You can stay there. You can fortify. You can fortify as well. I'll take the marine up there instead. Is there anyone else? You need to move around a little bit. In fact, just peek over their borders. There we are. 
Right. Who can we trade with? I could have you trading down there as well. Ooh. Right. Far base one. You're already at highest tier. Five energy, five science. That's not too bad. New Babylon. Lowest tier. One energy, three culture, but second tier, two energy, four culture. I would like that culture, please. Oh, and one production because of uh, our buildings. Yes, let's start trading over there. As for you, you are fully healed. That is great news. But I don't need you here anymore, so I'm going to take you up to our other cities to uh, just fortify their positions a little bit more. But on that note, I'm going to wrap this episode up. I do hope you've enjoyed. In the next episode, we will probably finish Photo Systems, and we'll get a little bit of harmony and finally be able to build Solar Collectors, which I am really looking forward to. Uh, as for our health, though, we're going to take a bit of a dive once Freeland is no longer free. That is a shame, but uh, it's to be expected, and uh, hopefully, given how much energy we have, we should be able to buy a couple of buildings straight away that'll help with the health problem. But that really is it for me. So once again, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And I hope you will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.